my Fuji X-T2 has gone faulty again. Three times in three months. I am livid. Catch me after the break where we discuss what is going on with this camera. What's happening YouTubers? As you've guessed, my X-T2 has gone faulty again and it's actually the third time in three months. So let me give you a little bit of uh, background information. Back in August, this camera was sent off to Fuji to have a hot pixel issue and freezing issue looked at and possibly repaired. Since it came back, I'm happy to report that seems to have been taken care of. But I had a shoot about a week after this came back from repair and I needed to put the battery grip on because I needed the extra battery time and when I put the battery grip on I was getting no readout on the camera that the battery grip was even attached I couldn't basically do anything, it was as if the battery grip wasn't attached to the camera whatsoever so I knew it was nothing that I had done because I literally hadn't even picked the camera up since it came back from the first repair so I got on the phone to Fuji and booked another repair job telling them that I wasn't impressed, that the camera's just come back from repair and they seem to have done something else to screw up the battery grip. So, no issue, I sent it back to Fuji again, Fuji UK that is. It came back about 10 to 11 days later with the grip issue actually repaired. Um, no real apology other than the standard letter they send out saying we're sorry to hear that your goods have gone faulty. So, you know, I've just cracked on. I've only used this camera probably two or three times since. And yesterday, while I was recording the previous video, I had no sound. So I was thinking, well, what's going on? So there was no sound playback. There's no AF beep. Basically, anything to do with sound, there's nothing coming out of this camera. I bought another repair with Fuji. This time I thought, you know what, I'm going to give these guys a call. And I spoke to actually a really nice fella at the Fuji UK customer services helpline. And I obviously explained my dissatisfaction on what had happened. And I requested a replacement camera. I said, look, this is ridiculous. I use this camera for work. And... You can't expect something to go 43 times in three months and three separate different issues. You know, if it was the same issue, I wouldn't be pleased, but at least we kind of could think that there must be an issue with this particular thing. Remove it and replace it. But this has been three separate issues. The hot pixels with the freezing, the battery grip, and now it seems like the speaker, I'm presuming it's a speaker that's blown. Whatever it is, you know, I don't know. All I know is that I think I'm entitled to a replacement camera. I think anyone that buys any sort of goods that within a year go 43 times, they should automatically be offered either a full refund or replacement. This has now become my, my most unreliable camera that I have ever used. And I'm seriously livid because I love this camera to death. And I cannot believe you spend £1,850 when the camera's first released, bought from the UK, and full UK warranty, and it's happened three times. That's my rant over. I have seen a few videos on YouTube about XT2s doing peculiar things and going faulty. And I've come to the conclusion I'm really severely thinking about taking the X-T2, which I'll be absolutely gutted if I have to take it out of my, my kit and maybe purchase another X-Pro2 because there's certain aspects of this camera that I can't live without with. Things like the, uh, the video recording, it's better than the X-Pro2. My tilty flippy screen, I need that for my landscape shots and for a lot of my wedding stuff that I do. But, you know, I've got 
about £10,000 worth of investment in Fuji gear. And I'm hoping they're going to do the right thing, replace this camera once and for all, and stop mucking me about. I'll catch you guys real soon on the next one. Cheers.